Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And I think on the last video, I showed you how to get the Internet Explorer 11, which came out for the developer's preview. Uh, I think one of the core requirements is you needed to get um, Service Pack 1. So I upgraded my machine and I, I actually upgraded my machine. I had a machine with Service Pack 1, so I started doing it on this machine. So the, this is actually like a first boot. So, you, you know, you download it. Uh, check out the link. There's an annotation around here in the video. Just click on it and it will show you how to get the Internet Explorer 11. So I'm just going to install it and most likely uh, once it's finished it's going to do a reboot and once it reboot we're going to start it up and see what goodness did Microsoft add to the new Internet Explorer 11. Again, Internet Explorer 11 was only introduced for Windows 8.1 it's not really for a Windows 7 machine but it looks like Microsoft is changing their hearts and changing their minds and providing Internet Explorer 11 for those Windows 7 users because a lot of people are not going to be upgrading to Windows 8 or 8.1 any soon so I catch you guys once the installation is done hey guys welcome back so my machine finally restarted from our first boot of Internet Explorer 11 uh, I actually took a screenshot before I restarted my sh machine, and this is what it is. This, I got you know once it's done installing and doing its thing, it's gonna want you to restart. You restart your machine, and let's uh, let's click on it. Let's first look, first boot of this bad boy, and yeah, I'm not really impressed. It gives you, you can search on the stuff from the address bar. That's well known. I know a lot of users have complained about the Google search bar. It completely disappeared from the menu bar. But you can now do all your searches in here. Uh, your favorites, very common, nothing new. If you guys are wondering if this is Internet Explorer, I'm going to go to the about. And there you go. That's version 11. So far, I'm not really impressed. It says pin sites, click and drive sites to your taskbar for one touch access. Again, I don't have a touch screen, but again, IE 11 was built on a touch screen kind of environment. But again, I'm not really impressed at whatsoever on the new version. Let's go to my site. You know. I'm not going to say it's loading my site quickly because it really depends on my wireless connection. And uh, yeah, I don't really have too much to say about this. I know they improved a lot of uh, security features as well as uh, a couple of bugs. Uh, and they kind of rebuilt the engine behind scenes to make things run faster and smoother. But that's about it. This is the first boot with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the uh, Internet Explorer 11 preview. I'm going to put the information at the bottom so you guys could go grab a copy of it and start playing around with it. But I want to know what you guys really think about this Internet Explorer 11 going to Windows 7 and not just staying with Windows 8.1. You know, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this first boot and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.